Hello, my Tubies and my Teletubbies. It's me, Auntie Sheila True Love. And today, well, you see, I've been working out. I've got my exercise suit on, and I'm working like a fiend to try to get my body super healthy. Actually, my main concern is healthy, but it's nothing wrong with looking cute, too. I want to have a nice shape. I don't, I'm not worried about having a nice body because a, a nice body means you have no scars, you have no stretch marks, you have no varicose veins, you have no, you know, like stretch marks on you. That's a nice body. I, very few people have a nice body, to be honest. That means that it has no scars, no, no, no cellulite, no nothing. But everybody can't have a nice body, but we could all have a nice shape. We could all have that. And as long as you have on a nice a night you have a nice shape, you should have no problem um meeting for meeting people, whatever the hell. Even though I don't like men who care about what my body look. I never liked that. I never did, even when I was younger. I always <clears throat> did things to cover up my body. And I had a body that made Beyonce look like a boy. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. But I was never into that. I wanted a man to like me for the way I carry myself, the way he sees I'm conversing with other people when we're out and about someplace, like if he see me on a regular basis, going to the bus or at school or in college, in, 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 I was at, in school, college or whatever, and I wanted him to like me for the way I carried myself, because of the way I speak, because of the way he sees me interacting with people, because of the way he sees people respond to me. That's what I want him to be attracted to, not how great my butt is and my tits are or my, how small my waistline is. I don't, I've never liked that. That's called shallow and superficial. I guess I was wiser beyond my years because I know that looks fade, bodies fade. People get sick. Sometimes people have to take medication that cause their body to blow up. You know, like they got med this medicines they have a lot of these medications have steroids in it. <clears throat> and I've seen men and women blow up because of medicine they have to take. Either they take it or they die. You know, they're all messed up. So you can't be sitting around here judging people based on what their body look like or what their face look like or how, especially these men with this hair garbage. I'm so sick of these men with this hair. Look, is that weave? Is that wig? Is that this? Oh, no, she don't have her natural hair. Look, the Bible says long hair on a woman is her glory. It don't say natural long hair. It just says hair on a woman is her glory. It doesn't say anything about whether it has to be natural, whether it has to be this, whether it has to be that. And the thing that pissed me off when it comes to that hair thing, you trying to tell me that if I get cancer and I get sick and I lose my hair because I have three Caucasian women at my job as we speak, two of them wear, um, you know, those turbans, the turbans, and another one, she wears a wig. Okay, so you're going to tell me that if I lose my hair, that means you're going to start cheating on me <clears throat> or you're not going to be faithful to me because of some goddamn hair. That's the same as saying that anytime you get a pot gut or you lose your teeth or you get a receding hairline or you, you start going through erectile dysfunction, you're done, buddy boy. You're done. Your goose is cooked. No, you can't do that. As long as this woman is keeping herself up and making herself attractive and doing the best that she can to be appealing that's one thing I've noticed. I have so many Caucasian men who are with ebony women, ebony women who are wearing their natural hair, sometimes a wig, sometimes extensions. And these Caucasian men be loving these women because they appreciate the fact that at least she's trying to adorn herself for me. She's trying to look good for me. And by the way, she looks amazing. But with these black men, they need to they need to stop that because these black men don't have no real love. Well, they, they need to work on having integrity anyway. When it comes to loyalty and integrity, they hardly have any of that. You're going to base things on hair. How stupid is that? That's just stupid. But you got men who are stupid and you have women who are stupid. And we're getting ready to listen to two females that are not so bright. They're kind of stupid. Okay. Now I'm gonna, we, the, the topic of this is bad sex can be deadly. And this is with... <clears throat> Willie D Live. Willie D Live, who's a very funny man. You should go to his channel because he has some very interesting stories. And I have to refer you to his channel and you won't be uh, dissatisfied. Let's go in. This is entitled, Woman Shot Man Because of Bad Sex. <laughs> this is unreal. This is an old story, but it's new to me, so I want to share it with you. 
A woman by the name of Sandy Bell was convicted of assault with intent to do great bodily harm for shooting her boyfriend, Edward Lee, in the stomach in January 2013. Now, why would somebody do such a thing? <laughs> well, it turns out that old Edward had failed to produce in bed. She said that he couldn't deliver, but she also accused him of cheating on her. She said that she felt like he had been engaged in an affair with another woman and he wasn't producing enough ejaculate. Now that's, she also like that's interesting. She got upset with this man because he wasn't performing uh, decently in the bedroom. You know, he wasn't satisfying her. But her number one reason for pretty much shooting him, really, is because she felt that he was cheating on her. Why? Because he didn't have that much ejaculation. I don't know how old he was, but I'm looking at her. She's older. Uh, she's uh, Yeah. Uh, she looks like she's at least in her 50s. And so he must have been like in his 50s or 60s or whatever. So I guess as a man gets older, he doesn't have as much ejaculate. At the same time, a woman knows her man. She knows his age and how much ejaculate he usually uh, dispenses. And if he's he's hardly have nothing left or his testicles are pretty much empty, come on now. Women are not stupid. So of course you could say, well, what if he was doing masturbation? If you got to masturbate, you don't need a wife. What the hell you got her here for? You're depriving her so you could go and sit around watching porno and, 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 and ejaculating off to some other woman that you're lusting after, which is a, a horrible thing. <clears throat> you're so busy masturbating no I, that's that's no excuse for me because i don't want to hear it especially when you're not taking care of home how you figure you 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 have the right to go and masturbate when you know you have a woman who likes sex every day or every other day really anyway so she saw that his ejaculation was not that much you know that's how i recognized my my narc was cheating too because you know, we haven't had sex for a minute. Your, your, your testicles should be full. They should be on overload. And when I talk, touch you or see you, they're always shriveled up, almost empty. And that don't give me that garbage about masturbation because that's bullery. Said to the police some very graphic things about what she expected for him to perform. <laughs> she said that she was a cheap date. She liked sex. She expected him to be able to do what he promised. <laughs> and she said, in essence, to quote her, she was pissed off, so she shot him. Well, he probably lied. Boy, it's good. He, he probably lied and said how he going to do this and how he could do this and he could pop off in the bedroom like this and all this. Got the woman all worked up. She says she was a cheap date. <laughs> I guess you get what you pay for. What's being paid? Whatever. Anyway, he went out there. <laughs> it is getting gangsta out here, isn't it? Gangsta out here, man. Sex is <laughs> rough. It's rough these days. <clears throat> Fellas. Man, can we blame this on me too? I don't know. But you just can't handle women like you used to be able to handle them you to... yeah that's right think about back in the days you know men it was all about the man being pleased the man getting his off the women just laid there like my uncle used to tell my aunt how stupid was he he said women are not supposed to enjoy sex they're just supposed to lay still for it they're supposed to just lay there <laughs> my uncle was a trip uncle noah he's dead and so is aunt colleen and I, I know, well, he died first. I know she was so happy. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, back in the day, women didn't care. They, it wasn't about a woman reaching her, the, the, the reaching the, 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 the high mountain or going to the promised land. <clears throat> it was all about making sure the man was satisfied. Women must have been very frustrated back in the day. No wonder they was probably uh, pissed off with attitudes, didn't want to talk and... Uh, whatever, man. I pity the women back then. Really? They would just talk all that shit and be like, yeah, I'm going to do this to you. 
I'm a, well, when I get there, boy, I'm a, and then when you get there, you get yours, then you roll over, go to sleep, and she just be left there like, you know, what? Think about that. How many times have that happened to you? They sit up there and they're so selfish, they focus on getting theirs. Meanwhile, after they done uh, uh, got theirs off, if you will, uh, they turn over and they're ready to go to sleep. What does that do? That leaves you frustrated. That leaves you very frustrated. And then he wonders why she's a nag, why she's always mean, why she's always bitter. Because you don't know what the hell you're doing in the bedroom, son. You don't know what my ex narc, my, my ex husband, uh, he was the worst I've ever experienced in my life. It's true. I'm not going to lie. I had many days of frustration that I had to go afterwards and take care of myself. How sad is that? And I'm supposed to have a husband. Really? Men don't understand that. That leaves a woman very frustrated. It leaves her on edge. And it definitely puts the thoughts in her mind. She got a side piece who knows how to, he knows what he's doing. So she's sitting up here. She can't wait to go to work tomorrow and have her a nooner. So a man can finish the job. And then she comes back from work and she's no longer frustrated. She feels amazing and she's pleasant and she's cheerful because she was with a man. Mm-hmm. Who know how to handle his business. All men don't understand women. They don't get it. Can't take that for granted anymore, fellas. Now, you might get popped up if you don't produce. <laughs> there was a 21-year-old <laughs> prostitute by the name of Marissa Warren in Everett, Washington, who shot a man twice in the head. Wow. Miraculously, he survived. But she shot him in the head twice because he didn't perform oral sex to her satisfaction. She said that she shot him because he couldn't perform sex to her satisfaction, oral sex, and she didn't know how to tell him. <laughs> he didn't know how to perform oral sex. This is a Caucasian woman. The first woman that shot the guy was a, a ebony woman this woman is a caucasian woman you know uh you don't do the oral sex right you, you're gonna get popped <laughs> that's just the way that's crazy and she didn't know how to tell him you know women have got i know how women feel you got to be careful how you talk to men about their performance because like my husband i i didn't really uh talk to him about his performance um but you should but even if i did talk to him about it or whatever i explained to him in a roundabout way you know, I always said it in like a roundabout way because men and their egos, you have to be very careful how you talk to them about these things. You know, a woman, you could tell a woman what's up. If this ain't going, that pop going down, this ain't going down. The woman come back in the bedroom, she gonna lay down, she gonna lay it down. She gonna lay it down. Well, you do that with a man, he got all kind of ego issues and can't hardly perform and he got anxiety and all of this crazy nonsense. But yeah, she popped him twice in the head. Your oral sex, it sucks. <laughs> Excuse the pun. I don't know how to tell you, baby, but you ain't doing it right. Let me shoot you in the head two times. <laughs> Damn. These women is getting gangster with it. <laughs> that was some mind-blowing service. Damn. Now, getting back to Sadie. Sadie... I hate to say it, but man, she hard to look at. <laughs> I just can't believe that she had the audacity to shoot somebody who was doing her a favor. <laughs> now, let me stop. You know, it's somebody for everybody. Yeah, what he might say is hard to look at. Another man might have been intrigued with her. Personally, I looked at Sadie, and I do say she's hard on the eyes. Yeah, you know, but she had a, a decent body, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> but like he says, there's somebody for everybody, whatever. But don't say that he was doing her a favor. He wasn't doing her no favor, especially when you can't deliver the goods. All you know how to do is leave a woman with a wet behind and frustrated and, and angry and annoyed. And she's pissed off because, you know, sat up here, made all these claims about what you could do in the bedroom. And now when it's time for you to back it up, son, what's up? Yeah, it ain't you. That's for sure. <laughs> she probably was saying the same thing. Her family was probably like, oh, what is she seeing him? 
Yuck. <laughs> wow. Fellas, you got to step your game up. You got to step your game up because old boy, uh, he was probably talking up a storm. Yeah. He probably was like, man, uh, yeah, I'm going to get you. You know I'm going to put it on you. You know he was clowning. <laughs> and, but she, but but again, she didn't just shoot him for not performing. She shot him because she said that he was having an affair and he couldn't get it up because he was using it on some other woman. Yeah, that's what happens a lot of times too when a man can't function or he has this erectile dysfunction because he done drained his lizard with somebody else. Now, when it comes time to take care of his partner or his wife, he's all drained out. You know what I mean? So, like I said, I had told my ex, Nark, my ex-husband, once the sex is gone, you're done, brother. Because I'm not going to have no man laying up in my bed. And I have to take care of myself sexually. I still have to take care of myself sexually. What the hell are you here for? Now, I can understand if it's for health reasons. Come on. I think all of the women can understand that. But when it comes to somebody who's sitting up here, you know he's in, in good health or whatever the hell. You know, my ex-narc, he had prostate cancer after he done cheated like hell. That was his punishment. He ended up with prostate cancer, had to get radiation. Now he really has erectile dysfunction problems. Because like within the two to three years, that's, that's dead. That's just a noodle in his pants. That's dead. That's done. It's a wrap. And he's too cheap to buy Viagra, Cielos, Levitra. And even when he had that, some, we went to some health place and, and he was having difficulties in that area. I was like, whatever, dude, whatever. Oh, God, whatever. So when he's sitting there laying up having sex with her, he's not performing because he woe out. He's woe out. He gave all of the ejaculate to another woman. Yeah. So... That's what really set her off. Maybe if he wasn't she cheating, she wouldn't have shot him. Now, he survived. What's crazy is that both men survived these gunshot wounds from women. One of the uh, comments here is she wanted her ginger snapped, and he came with so soft oatmeal dough cookies. She was looking to get her ginger snapped. Don't come over here to me with some soft oatmeal dough. <laughs> That's funny. Who was unsatisfied that they couldn't perform oral sex to their satisfaction. When I first heard about the case, I was like, man, this can't be the only thing out there. You know, because I, when I hear about these crazy cases, I like to research and see if there's anything else out there remotely like it. And sure enough, <laughs> this case, the other case popped up with the woman <laughs> in Everett, Washington, shooting the guy in the head two times. That is crazy, man. I guess at the end of the day, the takeaway is action speaks louder than words. Hello. Damn, boy, it's cold out there. Yeah, man. And they wonder why sex dolls are taking off. No more talk. Thank you, Willie. They said ain't nobody looking for no soft shalom. You know what I mean? So you see it's getting gangs out here. These women are saying, you know what? We work hard. We put a lot into these men. What's up? Yeah. You know, um, <clears throat> he should have had some Viagra on deck. <laughs> some backup Viagra. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's what, that's what it is. So bad sex can be deadly. So you guys with all this cheating and uh, can't seem to measure up. Think twice. Think twice. It could be a lifesaver. This is Sheila True Love. Loving you as usual. Uh, you always have a choice. Choose wisely. Until next time, darlings. Goodbye for now.